A rare kind of treasure has been discovered at the Queen's Public Library. The anonymous gift illuminates a little known history. CBS 2's L. McLogan covers stories out of Queens and takes us to Hollis for this story. It was an ordinary day at the library until a mysterious package arrived in the mail. It's received like this to the Queen's Library at Hollis. When librarians unsealed the box, they could hardly believe what was inside. Florence Palomo is assistant manager. And lo and behold, it is, it turns out, it is the oldest book ever returned to the Queen's Library. The copy of The Lonesome Trail by B.M. Bauer was last checked out on July 22nd, 1926. Mailed anonymously, the package came with only a short message. A note on the outside that said, long overdue book, sorry. <laughs> the novel, a western, tells what happens when a group of cowhands leaves ranch life behind for the big city. But an equally adventurous tale is the true history of the book's author. Pat Miller is senior librarian. Readers and critics of the day really believed that this was written by a man because it was seemed so true to actual cowboy life. It turns out B.M. stands for Bertha Muzzy, born in 1871. I think at the time, she was the first writer of um, like these pulp novel westerns as a female. The author's trailblazing career included 57 published novels, several of which were turned into films. Many. Someone took a shot at me. Guess he thought I was a coyote. It's believed that B.M. Bauer used her initials to conceal her gender in a male-dominated genre. She had an appeal to women, too, because she did have those strong female characters that were unusual in Westerns. It's the payroll money. Obviously. Borrowed from the library when Queens was a different place, the Lonesome Trail is destined for preservation. And though B.M. Bauer died in 1940, her words are, too. A man is very much like a horse. <laughs> in Hollis, Queens, El McLogan, CBS 2 News. Elle is our community journalist covering Queens. If you have a story tip, please email her at queenstip at cbs.com. I want to know who had that book all this time. I have a feeling. What do you think? Somebody just cleaning out a house? Hopefully. Probably saw Hopefully it. Hopefully it wasn't yeah. the same person <laughs> who checked it out. At least they said sorry, though. Yes, they did. So nice. Very polite.